Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel and in this session, we will be learning how to include a column or how to include multiple columns in Excel. Now, before that, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you're a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. So without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda that is how to add columns or how to add multiple columns in Excel. Now without further ado, let's get started with the practical mode. Now we have started our Excel worksheet and here you can see we have employee details on our worksheet. Now all of a sudden, uh, you wanted to add employee second name as well or a last name right so you're a beginner and you don't know how to add a column or you know you might be a little ambiguous right so instead of using this simple step you might end up creating a whole new sheet or maybe other approaches as well which are time consuming so let me give you this simple step all you have to do is select the column so here you wanted to add a last name right so B is your column with the first name and here you wanted to add a second name or the last name which is in between the columns b and c so remember that excel adds a column always towards the left side of a column so here if I, if you wanted to add a column next to b then you want to select the column c and right click and select the insert option so that it can be added in between b and c which is adjacent to b so let's look at it right so you have added the next uh, column or a new column right next to the column B and it's in between the designation and employee name now you can add your you know second name so that's how you create a new column in Excel now in case if you wanted to you know create multiple columns all together so uh, here we have or here we needed a second name also here you have a designation and you wanted to add another column which you know assigns managers to the employees right so let's delete it uh, delete the second column and let me explain you how what I want to do so here you wanted to add the second name of the employee and also the manager of these employees right so here you wanted to add two columns all together right uh, and now you might be wondering could I add two columns together uh, or will it work only for the one column thing right no it, it works for two columns and also more than two columns altogether so you wanted to add two columns here right so select the two columns you can you can select or you can click on the column c and hold that left key and drag it along the right side okay so here i have selected two columns and here it's three right so you can see here uh, it's one zero four eight five six seven six r cross 3c that means you have selected three columns if i navigate out of the four you can see we have selected four columns right now right click and select on insert and you'll have four columns in between employee name and designation now you might have to add your second name manager's name manager's employee id you know and the department everything or you can add anything or any number of columns in between the existing columns so that's how you add columns in excel and with that we have come to an end of this session on how to add columns or how to add multiple columns in excel and if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you require the resources that we used in this session then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest until next time thank you stay safe and keep learning Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.